Hey y'all, I'm Anika, a young entrepreneur and the face behind House of Inara, a strategic branding studio catering entrepreneurs worldwide who want to elevate the professional journey through authentic design and strategy. I started my company about a year and a half ago in India. Fast forward to three months ago, I moved to Toronto on the literal day COVID-19 was deemed as a pandemic by the WHO. And since then, I've been trying to balance the new normal. Initially, it was a bit nerve wracking, but I'm a glass half full kind of girl and that mindset really helped me cope through the transition. The whole reason I moved was to network with my contemporaries on this side of the planet. So it was a bummer when I found out that almost all my meetups and events had been canceled. But I guess I pivoted quite quickly. I moved to social media for networking and I started joining all the Facebook groups, all the um, Instagram lives. I was um, guest appearing on the Canadian Small Business Women panel and uh, things started to work out. I scheduled my work around the pandemic instead of against it. So for example, I had an educational investment that I wanted to make by the end of the year and I ended up preponing it because I realized that I was spending a lot of time indoors and um, I had time to focus and had almost no distractions. So that worked out great and I think it was these little changes and the mindset that I was working on. I was always focusing my energy on positivity, on hope, on helping others, on attracting the right kind of audience through my Instagram, through my social media, my website and um, I really invested back in my business and uh, these changes were doable in comparison to um, just spending money on marketing or advertising when I know that um, it's a tough time for my clients as well so that might have not worked out if I would have just stuck to my initial plan and my initial goals. So all in all, I do think that yes, my experience did start a bit shaky, but um, my mindset and the fact that I was ready to be more fluid with the whole adaptability situation, um, the fact that I was ready to reshuffle my schedule and work around the pandemic has really helped me um, get through the pandemic as a professional while staying afloat and actually thriving. And I also think that um, this was really needed in a way. This literal shakedown where it made us realize our ways and think of our priorities. It gave us this buffer from our fast-paced craziness and the concrete jungles that we were so used to. It made us empathize. It made us help. It made us think of others and put others in front of our needs. And I think at the end of the day, it made us a little more human. And I really hope that some of these positive changes are here to stay. So this was my journey, a few takeaways, a few things that I did. And I hope that sharing this experience has helped at least one person or made one person realize that we're all in this together and that um, if I can do it, so can you. And um, I hope we move forward, um, making this a better place for us and our future generations to live in. Lastly, I'd like to thank Jennifer and the entire team of Venti Venti Vision for welcoming me with open hands and letting me share my little experience and my story with uh, your platform, your audience. And I hope that together we adapt, elevate and thrive as a global community.